Good afternoon, everybody. This is Rick from beautiful Dalton Gardens, Idaho. Uh, it's May 28th, uh, 2024. I just finished this bike about three days ago. And this is a memorial bike to my friend Bill Wilson of Hayden, Idaho, who passed away a year and a half ago or so. And uh, when I moved to Idaho, Bill was the first person that I had met that we became really good friends over the years. And he had told me that when he contacted me that we have something in common. And I found out why after about a month he took me to his shop and I've never seen a bigger collection from anyone in Hondas than he had. All unmolested, untouched originals and that's what he would specialize in purchasing for his collection which were a lot of CT, you know, mostly CT70s and Z50s but he also had an enormous collection of almost like new CT90s, 110s. He had all the scrambler uh, models, including some 754s, but some of the beaten stuff that he didn't want, I would end up buying from him and restoring them. But uh, this one right here, I decided to keep. It's 100, just about 100% original. The only thing that I put uh, new on this was the headlight bucket, the Speedo was smashed up, and that's it. The original wheels I took down, had them uh, re-chromed, new tires, tubes, all new wiring, it's original uh, handlebars, fenders, exhaust system, the motor was torn down and we completely went through it, but I decided to keep this bike in uh, memorial of my friend Bill. He was just a kind-hearted gentleman and I was so sad to see him pass, but it's a 1970 uh, KO and like I said, it's just about 100% original uh, it's original motor and completely stripped down and rebuilt and the bike is just and rides just like brand new and this one I'm going to put in my collection. I built a couple others that have looked like this and gotten rid of them but this is something that's spe uh, special for me and I just wanted to eulogize Bill and the friendship that he gave me because every time I look at this bike I'll think of Bill. And I've got a couple of CL Scramblers uh, 70s I purchased from them that had dings in the tank, but they're one number off on serial numbers, and those are going to go down here. And I'm going to fully restore those in a red and a blue one, uh, 69 bikes, and uh, also add those to my collection. But anyway, just uh, God rest your soul, Bill. I miss you, and uh, this one's for you, buddy. Take care. Thank you for watching the video.